Today's video is going to be showing you how to set up your self-hosted agent for your DevOps pipeline in a Windows environment. Check out in the links below for this documentation that we'll be following along with today. On today's agenda, we're going to be creating the permission necessary. So we're going to create our personal access token, and then we're going to download and configure the agent. We're going to configure the agent with the personal access token that we created. And afterwards, I'm going to be running one of the pipelines I have. And after all of that, I will just show you quickly how to remove it in case you don't want the build agent on your computer. Let's start and create our personal access token. So I'm going to scroll down to prepare permissions and it's going to tell you to click on the top right, go to securities that will then take you to a place where you can create a new token. And the permissions you'll want to set is agent pool and deploy group read manage. OK, so keep that in mind. Let's go do that. I'm in my Azure DevOps. I'm going to click top right, click security. And then I'm going to click the new token button. And here you'll have to give it a name. I like to give it uh, based on the computer name. So I know this is my PC, so Billy PC agent. You'll specify a expiry. And if you have specific rules in your um, workplace to have uh, access tokens expire at a certain time, make sure you respect that. I'm going to set it for a year. Um, afterwards, you set your scope. So this is the agent um, read manage and the deployment group read manage. You want to make sure you click uh, show all scopes or else you won't be able to see that. And once you click that, you'll see agent pools, click read and manage and scroll down a bit and you'll see deploy groups read and manage. So you want to click create now. And you'll have your token right here. Uh, you don't really need to worry if you accidentally didn't copy it. So if you refresh your page, You'll see your um, access right here, and you want to regenerate. And it will be right here again. So if you forgot to copy it, don't really worry about that. And if you want to remove this, click revoke, and it will be removed. So back to our documentation. Let's go ahead and download our agent now. I uh, will scroll down here, and you can either go to the link here and replace it with your organization link. Mine is just your learning. And then um, click the download agent button and make sure you follow the instructions afterwards. OK, so let's go here. I'm going to show you actually how to navigate to it just in case um, you're curious. So go organization settings and then agent pool and you will be in the same place. OK, so you click download agent now. And if you're obviously in any of our other environments, then you would click those. So what we're going to do is click the download button. I already have it downloaded, so I will not need to do that. And I'm going to now make an uh, agent directory and then navigate to that. So let's do that. OK, so now I have my agent directory and I'm just going to keep uh, showing you what the uh, real file structure looks like, just so you guys can see. And after you download it, make sure you download it into your downloads directory. Um, if you don't, then just configure uh, right here because this defaultly will try to unzip from your downloads directory. OK, so we're going to copy this. And I'm going to paste that in here. And all it's going to do is uh, extract everything from the download you have. And that will be your bin, your config, your run. OK. And then afterwards, you'll need to run your configuration. So you won't need to do this step right here, which will just take you back to this documentation. Um, and then which will just kind of go through the whole process all over again. Um, the key thing about this is all you need is your personal access token. Let's run our config command then. So we're going to copy this and I'm just going to paste it here. And we're just going to run that. It's going to ask for the URL um, and that's going to be this right here. And we're going to paste that. And it's going to ask uh, what kind you want to do. So say yes to personal authentication token. And remember when we created this earlier, so we won't need this anymore. So let's navigate out of this and let's go to security here. And we will go here, uh, sorry, go here and we will regenerate. And we'll copy this and we'll paste that in here. And it'll do connection and make sure everything's okay. Uh, where do you want to add it to? I would just do default. And what name do you want to give it? I would just give it something uh, Billy PC agent again. Okay, so make sure you name yours properly. If you have a bunch of different computers, you're going to kind of get mixed up which one will be running your jobs. Um, use the default underscore work. 
Um, do you want to run it as a service? So this will install as a Windows service and run in the background for you. I personally just like to run it um, when I need it as a, like a, from the run command. So if you want it to run on a Windows service, say yes. If you don't, then just say no. Um, auto login, same thing. If you want it to launch on startup, I'm going to say no because I like to just manually run it. So let's just clear away this. We have everything configured. Um, go back to our documentation and it will say run the agent. So let's do that. Paste that in there. So the agent is now listening to a job. Let's actually go and see how we can configure our build system to use the new agent. So I'm going to go to our pipelines and I'll just use the React one as an example. So if you want to manually run it and just switch it from your existing agent pool to using the, um, the one we just configured, you can click here and go to default. Alternatively, if you want to have it always run from that agent pool, you can click here and go change this and then save the settings and it will always be running from that agent pool. I'm just going to just show you how to run it for now and see that it will actually be queued there. So we're going to do this and we're going to go default and I'm going to trigger that. Same thing you can do with your releases. You can have your releases also run from here. So you can see that now it says running job and then it's going to create a bunch of directories for you. So I'm going to just stop that. And you'll see it also, um, oops, click stop there. And then you'll also see that the job was canceled. So just one final thing, if you are wondering how to remove it, um, you run this remove command. I'm going to go out of this. I'm going to stop this right here and we're just going to run the remove um, if you have permission issues you might need to be, uh, go into admin mode so it's going to ask you for authentication again you press that and once again we go to security and we're going to actually regenerate a new token since we're going to remove it and remember regenerating a new token will expire your last one so if you don't want to actually remove it then don't do this step. Okay, now it should be removed. So in our organization setting, we should now no longer see it. Perfect. I hope you guys were able to set up your self-hosted agent. If you learned something from this tutorial, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. And I'll see you guys next time.